I've tried to do this a few times, so I'm not going to explain too much because I had to be emotional. I might write about that later. Anyway, I was really devastated. I discovered that my son's dad had died. And I didn't know how I was going to explain to a little boy his dad killed himself. I didn't have to until this year he was 14. It was hard. Okay, I'm going to try and sing this without bawling. This is Forgive Me. Rest in peace, Jamie Newport. My son, look at what I've done, but I am learning still, learning still, know that I am learning still, and oh, my wife, you And I am burning still, burning still, know that I am burning for you still. And all, all, all of my light is for you, and home, home's anywhere you are too. So take this one fallen man on his knees, beg him please, forgive me. Oh my God, how you made it hard not to pick the apple, pick the apple, and Lord, I long to give it back. And I was on shaky land, lost and unsure. I opened my hand, and she held it like sinking sand. And all, all, all of my light is for you. And home, home's anywhere you are too. So take this one fallen man on his knees. Simply forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, Let's forgive me. Even when people are screaming out for help, they don't get the right help. They need advocates. They need people that knew them before the event that put them in devastation. Jamie attempted suicide twice before the time it worked. Three different ways. It was within the last six months, probably more, just three months. 
there were complications medically that did was proven that did affect him and also measures were taken to rectify those problems to fix that situation so it doesn't happen for anyone else. Jamie suffered mental health issues all his life. He told me a fair bit. He didn't actually tell me what happened. Something happened at the school that he went to. By the time he was 13, he was using speed. When I met him, he was 25 and I was 30. Um, I thought I could save him. I thought happiness would stop him wanting to use the drug. I didn't understand it. I wasn't surrounded by it. I was really surprised coming to the country that it was everywhere. It really fucks people up. Even the people would justify it. Jamie justified it. He couldn't handle death. When he was a teenager, he witnessed his best friend die. I know a few of you watching this might have known Turtle. I didn't. Um, I did meet our family. Some of them. <laughs> Seem like nice people. Anyway. Jamie blamed himself because he wanted to get high on speed that night and he told her to get out of his car. Um, and he was following the car that rolled or flipped or was it Ross and Locke? Um, and he watched his friend die, believing that he put his friend in that position. After that, I guess he probably faced that anniversary. Let me, I think it was the 22nd of May. Every year, the 22nd of May, around then, Jamie would get himself high for a, a, a day or two, sleep it off for three, and basically when he woke up from that, he wasn't himself. He battled multiple personalities, um, and not really battled, he used them to manage himself, and it helped me manage when we'd separated, um, he had a habit of introducing himself by nickname. So, often I'd just pick up on that. He was either Grimace, Farky, or he was Lord Farquhar, um, or Jamie. Jamie the proud Italian daddy. Really damn proud. <sighs> Practical joker. Big rolling smile. The drugs made him put on a heap of weight. The the drugs, sorry. The medications that the doctors gave him to treat his symptoms for the drug abuse that was treating his symptoms for all of the grief in his childhood. Anyway, this is going to go on for more than 10 minutes if I don't shut up soon. I just, I've learned over time that people going through mental problems really do need advocates and if you can't do it for them you need to find someone that can because they can't, they can't see they need it. Often they can't see that, that their situation's not wrong. Jamie actually thought that the whole world was going nuts when we would be concerned. 
um, anyway, take care and, and keep an eye out for each other. Love you world. <laughs>